What's up, YouTube? So I'm already checking on my truck again, so I figured I'd get out inside and look at the truck I bought. Since I couldn't show you last time, I broke the key or whatever. So, it's an 06. It's an 06 Freightliner Classic, so, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it ain't the prettiest thing. Little stuff like that. It's a double bump. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to change So things I plan on doing with it. Definitely taking these seats out. The seat is like hella uncomfortable. Some of these, you probably change some of these switches out. Switches don't really work. So many miles is on it. It was like a little, it was like 817,000 when I bought it. Like I said, I drove all the way down from Florida, so I put a little bit on it. Just a little something, something. Nothing major. You've been in trucks before. You know what the trucks look like. So, cabinet space. I never knew that these Freightliner Classics was uh, had this much, uh, was this tall, though. It reminds me of the uh, the Cascadia's as far as, like, space-wise, how much space they have in it. Also, show you under the hood. The caterpillar, the caterpillar engine, C15, like turns four, uh, 13 speed. I think the horsepower was like uh, four seven five, I think. I think it's like 475. Just under the hood. This is really looks like. This is, I would say I don't, I don't like how the filters on, um, on these, like, you know how, like, the new trucks, the filters, you can, uh, like, the dome, dome, uh, covers, you can be able to see the fuel filters. Say I'm uh when they filling up and stuff like that. That I don't like. I don't think there's nothing I can, you can do about that. This is part of the older trucks. And I don't like how you can't really see inside how much cooling you have either. Like if it's two things, if I could do something about that, those two things I would replace just so I can be able to I'm real anal about keeping you know what I'm saying, keep my stuff. I take I like to take care of my stuff so when I get on the road I like to be able to know when it's exactly to change it, but I'm gonna guess I have to just go on, just set a nice little schedule for changing. Right here, every 10,000 miles changing oil, and I have to change the filters and all at the same time. But I don't like not being able to know how much cooling I got in there. That's that bothers me a little bit. But it is what it is. Like I said, it's under the hood. Turbo and stuff. So yeah, no biggie, man. Like I said, I'm just at the lot where I park my truck at. Just a quick video, man. I just wanted to, just wanted to show you in, inside of it, because I couldn't do it last time. Just need a little bit of specs on it. But yeah, I'll holler at y'all in the next video, man.